a brisk morning here in Hungary. Yeah. A little on the cool side, but it's about to heat up. sounded any minute now. And I can hear the beaters coming now and the birds are starting to cackle, so it's gonna get hot here any minute. Peter's off to the left. Second barrel. I'm excited. When you get some good birds, you get excited. Peter! There you go. Well done, man. OK, watch out, watch out. Ooh. <laughs> With shotgun blasts echoing through the forest and shooters and loaders are in a frantic scramble to shoot, reload, and repeat the process. Woo. And when it works, it's controlled chaos. Oh, make no mistake, this is shooting, not to be confused with hunting, for the birds are managed to create high volume bags. I'm doing a lot of pruning here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Cute. Four, boom, five. Can't shoot after the horn blows. Crazy number of birds. Whew. Fogged up my glasses, it was so hot. <laughs> the history of the driven shoot dates back to the late 1800s in the British Isles when the advent of the breech loading shotgun made it possible to shoot tremendous numbers of pheasants and grouse and partridge. Kings, queens, dukes, and earls were among the royalty that boarded the trains from London to head to the English and Scottish Highlands to enjoy these elaborate shooting festivals of sorts. But since, the driven shoot has spread to the continent of Europe, from Spain, where I've enjoyed multiple shoots for the famed red-legged partridge amid the rolling olive groves and vineyards. But driven shooting has even spread to the African continent, where guinea fowl are the game of choice. Birds up, birds up! Here we go. Raucous flushes of sometimes hundreds of birds darkening the bush as a shooter never quite knows what else might be busting from cover. Here they come, here they come. Okay, let's take them. And the experience is one of the world's most unforgettable shoots. Nice shooting, nice well done. And then there is the country of Hungary, a nation rich in both hunting traditions and opportunities. From legendary red stag to fallow and roe deer, the country's mix of forests and fields with rich alluvial soils supports both tremendous quantity and quality of game. And at no time was that more apparent than when I joined Peter for a driven boar hunt that could only be described as epic. That's a big bag right there. He's gonna come right across. Here we go, here we go. Horde has spent decades mastering the locations and art of hunting across Hungary, even authoring a book about it. He's the only American to ever receive the prestigious St. Hubertus Medal from the nation of Hungary, an honor bestowed to those who go to extraordinary lengths to champion ethical hunting and conservation across the country. I love Hungary, I love the Hungarians, I love the enthusiasm. You know, it's not like hunting in America or hunting in Africa. Very few Americans have still hunted here, and that's something we hope to change. And like any decadent treat, this experience is best when shared with friends. Joining me on this trip to the old world of Hungary are my wife Amy and a reunion of sorts with old hunting partners and long lost companions. We descend to a remote lodge where we will soon be introducing ourselves to clouds of pheasants. Good heavens. A driven shoot consists of a series of beats whereby a line of guns are positioned along a break in the forest or a field, and dozens of beaters and their dogs then walk a section of cover toward the line of guns, hoping to flush plenty of pheasants. The games begin. That's nice, you get these nice little bursts. You know, all come at once, you get little flurries of them. That's a lot of great action right there. Oh, 
Okay. Peter's like a coiled spring down there. He's been here like 200 times. Okay, that's a double. <laughs> Snowing. Hungarian snow right there. Oh, poach my bird. Sorry, Peter. <laughs> I shot it just before he pulled the trigger. Oh, what was that? What was that, a bird? Nice, first time I've ever been hit <laughs> in my life. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Peter! Hello. Mr. Dorsey. Can I have a word with you, please? Uh, you dropped this one right on my head, and I did not stop shooting. <laughs> I came this close on a bird. I went, woo! Wow, that, that was, was impressive, that man. Bad. Gosh, that was fun. Over three days, our team of seven shooters made capable shots and filled generous bags. And we would be happy to let you believe that all of our shots were true, but one person seems to object. No, but you also have to call a miss once in a while. I hate these shows where they shoot 300 birds and they never miss a bird. I said, I don't know what Olympic team they're shooting for, but even Olympic shooter can't shoot every bird. All right, Mr. Horn, be careful what you wish for. Oh, Peter. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, you sucker. Ah, miss that. Oh, how did I miss that? Hey, Joe, I didn't see that. <laughs> Come on, Horn, you gotta do better than that, buddy. I said you miss some and you hit some. You remember the ones you hit. You never wanna hit all of them because then you have to quit. This is like something out of Gosford Park. Such a throwback, this whole experience. It's just a, it's an acknowledgement of the history of shooting and of the world of hunting, world of shooting sport. This is really rarefied stuff. The thing I love about these driven shoots is at a certain point you just get a cloud of birds and then it's like squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. That's all part of the fun. That and shooting your buddy's birds, that's the other part of the fun. And so it begins. Okay, double. Come on. Come on, let's go. Okay. <laughs> a lot of birds. <laughs> Look at that. I was right in front. <laughs> oh, hey, Chris, come on. <laughs> what a poacher. Oh, yeah, I took that one off him. How was that, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Chris! What a crazy ride. We got birds going everywhere here. This is the end of the beat here. All the birds stack up, and it's just like the end of a South Dakota pheasant drive. Man, I lost the birds for the feathers. <laughs> It's like an aerobic exercise. It's your core power workout right here. There we go, look at this. How fun. Oh, fun. That was just pure fun. Chris Jones beat his face up. He shot everything you want. <laughs> that looks like a good Kentucky boy right there, man. He'll take the pain and keep on shooting. No kidding, he's been in a fight. <laughs> As we soothe our aching shoulders, the drivers gather our quarry for the market, 
continuing a cycle of growth and harvest which has flowed through these lands for generations. The team of workers move like a coordinated symphony. They each know their parts and they play them well. And for us, we get to enjoy a final performance before we leave this magical landscape and return home. Thanks to Horn, Hungary has further sunk her claws into me, forever drawing me back for yet another unforgettable adventure in the world of sport, be it for kings or paupers. <laughs>